Hello and welcome to the uh, Constructor 101 class. This was one of our first videos done. done. Uh, what we're going to be covering now is the Torque Game Engine uh, demo. Torque Game Engine demo is uh, what we're going to use to actually give you a place to put the models that you're going to be building into the game world just so you can have a sense of uh, what it would look like in the game environment. Uh, it helps a lot especially when you're starting to put together things in your mind and uh, plan things out as far as how you want to build your models and what they need to look like and things like that. Um, what we're going to do is this is the initial starting screen you're gonna, you see with the uh, Torque Game Engine demo. So we're going to hit interactive walkthrough and it's going to be loading up. Now normally I would edit out all the loading up stuff and all that but what we want what I want is for the people that haven't actually played with Torque before uh, I want them to see what it, it looks like. Uh, I'm sure most of you have uh, the Torque Game Engine demo at the very least and probably very familiar with the editors and stuff but we're just trying to cover our bases make sure everybody's on the same page now this is the demo it's essentially a fly through they have a camera on a nice little rig and it flies through the environment to show you what all the neat things that Torque Game Engine can do but it doesn't help you really put anything in the world it's not a good environment to learn with so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start playing with the editor so what you do is you hit F11 and this little screen comes up, gives you some basic directions, and all that good stuff. So we're going to hit OK. We're going to go up here to File. We're going to hit New Mission. Okay, now what it's going to do is actually make us a new blank mission. There's nothing in this environment, nothing going on. Now if I hit the tab, uh, tab key holding down the right mouse, but right mouse button, we then go to our orc. And if I hit F11 again, we're looking at our environment. Now you just run around with your WASD keys and look around. Uh, it's a nice little way to get kind of familiar, you know, neat little shadows there. You see the footprints. It's just uh, uh, neat for the first time. I, I really enjoyed it. I remember the first time I popped into the uh, editor like this, and I was just like, wow, there's so many cool things I want to do. Well, what we're going to do from here is we're actually going to make this mission your mission. So in order to do that, we're going to go hit F11 again to go back to the editor. We're going to hit File, and we're going to also go to Save Mission As. Now, it's going to show up here in the Creator Directory. We haven't really gone over directories yet, but we don't want our mission in the Creator Directory. We actually want it in the Demo Directory, so we're going to go down here to Demo. This is the Demo Directory right here. Open that up. We're going to go to the Data Directory following that, and then down to Missions. Okay, you're going to see there's a, feature, a Features Mission and a GUI Mission. Now, those don't really concern you, uh, but what does is down here where it says file name, you're going to want to highlight that. Now, what I want each student to do is use their name uh, as a mission name. So what I'm going to do is I want to type in John Spivey dot M-I-S. Okay, that is a mission file. The format for mission files is dot M-I-S. Make sure that you put dot M-I-S into the title of your level. If you don't, it'll get lost. It, it won't save properly. It's just a little quirky thing that you need to remember to do. Go ahead and hit save. And the mission's been saved. Now if we go up here to file again, open a mission, remember the directory. This is going to be very important. Demo, data, missions, and there I am, johnspivey.miss. If I double click on that, you will see that there's my mission. Now I've set up a basic mission for myself and um, we're prepared to move on to the next step. I'm going to show you how to put a few things in, manipulate it, just so uh, when you do build your models, you have something to do. We're not going to get big time into the, the editor. We're just going to cover the basics so that you understand how to put your model in, look at it, ooh and all, and then move on. Okay? Alrighty. Well, that's the end of this video, and we'll talk to you in the next one.